Good morning, Terrifics, out there in terrific land. My name is David Milch, and we are launching a new show today, How Doctors Think. And I have the estimable, estimable? Est close enough for close government enough work. For what time in the morning for 9.20 yeah. in the morning yeah. on Tuesday? Uh, what, what are the uh, like the, the tests of mental competency? We have to get You just failed one. I just that's failed okay. one. I, that's all right. I can't, I can't get <laughs> you know, multi-syllabic syllabic, syllabic words out without uh, stumbling on myself. Let, let's see if we can get the date right. Uh, how about Tuesday, May 1st? May 1st. That, uh, okay. That You've one. begun to redeem yourself, That's right. Dr. And I, I'm talking to the wonderful Dr. Anthony, Tony, Dr. T, to his friend Stern who is a bona fide and board certified and uh, and certified and uh, AAA certified the sirloin you know <laughs> with, with the uh, the stamp on the rump psychiatrist and uh, we've been uh, we've been talking about a show Tony uh, about how doctors think true and uh, you've been thinking about that I have been actually have been teaching pre pre meds at my high school alma mater a course called how doctors think for the last two years which has been great fun so we decided to bring that to the world that's and so we're going to jump right in, Dr. Milch. We are? We are, since you are a bona fide... Is, is, is the water safe? No, but that's <laughs> all right. We'll survive nonetheless. Yes. Well, we have been talking about doing a show. In fact, uh, we've been talking with uh, quite a number of our, our good friends and colleagues, um, actually friends of yours for many, many years, more recent friends of mine that you've uh, so kindly brought uh, to be terrific about various programs and programming and there's a reason for that because we're trying to reach out to the terrific audience which uh, we're looking to build and to bring them content that uh, entertains and elevates them we've been talking about that and to bring creative content and that brings us to how doctors think one of the ways that doctors think which I hope will become a little clear during this half hour or so together is that one of the ways that doctors think is in a creative fashion. So in in that light, I'm going to jump right in. In, in all of these lights. In all, so these, all of lights. these lights that are shining upon yes. us. Here in the studio in beautiful downtown Secaucus, New Jersey. Wasn't there a song, Raucous in Secaucus? Is there? Uh, yeah, there, there were, I was raucous in Secaucus. But I'm, I think you were rocking I'm, some I'm diverging I'm not sure and diver I You notice how I'm navigating the conversation from how doctors think to, to others, everything. other subjects. To, every, to, to everything. To basically everything. <laughs> the I, I wonder everything. if there's a method to his madness. I think there is, but it has to be honed a little but, bit, but I, Dr. Mill. Honing our madness or yes. my madness? Channeling or? our madless madness a little bit. Madness. Ma our, our madless madness. You caught me. Uh, yeah, yeah, exa exactly. Nicely. Have you had your coffee this morning? No, I have not, actually. Right. But we're Sadly. Having, but we're having <laughs> fun. We right? are. Well, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, yeah, yeah. The jury is still out of whether we're having... Yeah, we are having fun. We we're are heading having towards fun. having right. fun. Well, have you been having fun getting to know Be Terrific over the last, what, what would you say, about two months? I've been we, having fun getting to know Dr. Terrific and, <laughs> and his... And his motley crew. And his motley crew. Yeah. And, and, and Dr. T. If I'm Dr. Terrific, actually that works. Dr. T could be two Dr. Dr. T's, yeah. two Dr. T's here. Exactly. The question yeah. is who's numero we, we uno and who's numero uno? No, no, no. Duo. In the Dr. T, you're, you're numero okay, uno. So let me, I, I defer. So then let me and the steer, Dr. Terrific. So then let me steer the ship from here. Okay? Well, well, we, we can st steer it a lot of directions. I'm going to bring <laughs> us back. <laughs> <laughs> That's clear. I, I'm tenacious. That has been already... <laughs> Dr. Tenacious. So, another I, T. Dr. A tenacious. T, tenacious, T. terrific, and tenacious Tony. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to put one word out, and then yeah. I am going yeah, yeah. to defer to okay. you. Pivot. We're going to come back to pivot okay, a good. little bit later. All right. Very good. But for the moment, I pivot to you. I'm going to pivot into a simple question. Since you are a doc who's been around the block, <laughs> all the things you'll see, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. We'd. I, I, for one, am truly excited about retracing some of those steps with you, because you, you have interesting. You really are a psychiatrist. You want to go into my pack and my yes. pack, my past and uh, your past pack my and past. your pack. I want to unpack pack my your past. past. Yes, I, I do. really do need coffee in the morning. <laughs> you need something. I'm not sure what it is. No, I'm, not, I'm not sure I can provide it. Even. End of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Better living through pharmaceuticals. <laughs> pharmaceuticals are about three days of nonstop talk therapy. Okay. And you'll be doing most of the talking, no doubt. Uh, exactly. Well, well, we do a lot of talking. We do. And be terrific. We you know, do. Because we're trying to entertain and elevate. 
right? With, with yes. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, uh, and, and to be tenacious. So, so going let back, me ask so you, you a very specific question. Right. You've been around the block a bunch of times, actually, as a doc. And I'd, I'd, like, uh, I'd like to ask you, what in this moment can you say about what you've learned about the art of being a doc? of being a doctor or a healer. We're talking about the narrow, narrow role Three of Three words. A We're all, I guess it's four words. We are all connected. H word. We are all human. We are human. all human. Okay. At the end of the day, we're all human. You know, when you get into these conversations about different races and colors and creeds and religions and all this kind of stuff, and I always say, I don't care whether somebody's white or black or red or yellow or whatever, you of the rainbow, we all bleed red, Tony. That's, That's one true. thing you and I both saw, you know, in the operating room and taking care of patients, regardless of one, whether one went into surgery or internal medicine or another area, psychiatry, et cetera, we all bleed red. We're so all I'm going to pivot from that, okay? We all bleed red, which is to say we all have Common past, past, present, and future pain. Wound. We, we, we all have past, future, and present pain and joys and happiness and trying to find ways of reaching inside ourselves to, you know, to um, nurture the sources of our happiness, to understand the sources of our pain and to move beyond them. I think Nicely that's, put. that's the Nicely goal put. of the healer. Uh, going to back to, into a classical tradition, going all the way back to the Greeks and Hippocrates and the oath that we both took, and even in an age of scientific medicine with all the technology and discoveries, and we're really just in the early stages of that, you know, not losing sight and connection to that oath and to helping people understand the sources of their joys and their pains and to augment the former and to help people cope with the, the latter and recognizing that's always there, that duality. Nicely put. I think that's duality, dichotomy, dialectic. We went from the T words to the D words. Right, and I say dialectic um, for a purpose, which is to say it's one thing if it's a duality or a dichotomy, but if you start to view your pain as the source of a kind of source of your joy potentially, in other words, as I think the Buddha or Thich Nhat Hanh anyway put it, no mud, no lotus, no pain and no rich past, then you can't grow a, a meaningful flower or, or, or vegetable in the present. So you just brought up something interesting, which kind of relates to the P word that I said before, the pivot. pivot. You, you brought in the names of two very interesting philosophers, mm -hmm. writers, thinkers. Buddhist thinkers. Buddhist yeah. thinkers, exactly. Starting with the Buddha. And one of the goals of yeah. why we're sitting here, besides yeah. enjoying each other's company and talking about how doctors think, how people think, yeah. how humans think, is to communicate to the audience. And well, most likely right now we don't have much of an audience because we need to build an audience. Yep. It's one of the challenges for Be Terrific. It's one of the challenges for people like yourself I'll include myself yeah. in, in that circle and some yeah. of the, the friends and guests that we have watching us here. We have our dear friend John Golden and we have Kenny Fine, we have Gordon Edelstein, we have Laura Blum, we have Paul um, Hecken, Heckinger, that's right, I almost got it fully, Paul, a new friend of ours that are, uh, are, are watching from just off camera and in the control room. We have a, a number of folks and our goal um, for being here at Be Terrific and for doing programming for you and I sitting here is to communicate things to an audience, for them to communicate back to us, and to find ways of building a community of communicators and thinkers that reach out and um, have an impact. I like and that. I like that very much. That reach out and have an impact that's sustainable. And the reality is that this is a commercial enterprise venture, and to find ways for, by reaching out and generating an audience, that that audience becomes dependable, grows, is we, that we have partners that will distribute that content. We have sponsors that find that it speaks to their needs and yep. their interests. And but we're and, getting a little far afield. Um, no, I'm, I'm coming. Yep. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to it. So one of the challenges yeah. that we have for conceiving yeah. of the kinds of shows that sure. we're trying to do is to figure out how to put all those pieces together. So, for example, as I've gotten to know you, there yeah. is so much in in these the, kidneys here. And I'm pointing to mine, but I'm looking at at, at your head. And, yeah. And, so much information. How do we take 
the information that someone like yourself, Tony, and, mm -hmm. and I, I'm really saying this in a, yeah. in, in, in a very serious way, and some friends of ours that are here that are, are watching the show, how do we take that and package it in a way that's approachable by different audience constituencies that we need to find ways of reaching? Can we take this information, how doctors think, yeah. and what is going to speak to a millennial audience? What's going to speak to a premillennial teenage audience? I have a 15-year-old son. What's mm -hmm. going to speak to, I guess, in between the baby boomers, which we are, yeah. and the millennials, you sort of have Gen X and Gen Y. I mean, there are all these different cohorts, yeah. we used to call them, right? Um, collections of, of, of individuals that have different expectations and needs. Well, I'll give you an answer. Okay. I think we need to worry a little less about the audience and a little more about tuning into what feels most right to say at any given moment within ourselves. Uh, there was a great, one of the gurus, true gurus, and I say that advisedly, among the psychoanalysts of the 20th century and the, and the, and the MDs of the 20th century was a man named Elvin Semrad up in, up in Boston where you uh, did your medical school training which is to say, Dr. Milch, I'm going to start to enter your past here. Dr. Milch went to Harvard Medical School. I went to Mount Sinai School of Medicine. You took the oath of Hippocrates at your graduation. I took the oath of Maimonides at my graduation. Ah. A side note. It's interesting. Yeah, but an interesting side note. Um, that was a conscious decision by the the uh, overseers of the trustees, the trustees at Mount Sinai, was which, was, which is a, was which, and is a more which Jewish built, institution. I assume upon the oath of Hippocrates, but maybe added some other elements. That would be an interesting. Yeah, I, would, let's look into that. Yeah. I, I don't know the answer to that, but I imagine so. Mm -hmm. Just in the way that, starting with the Gospel of John, the Hebrew and Greek traditions began to intermingle, really. But that's also a side note. A little bit of a scholarly it's side It's an note. interesting side note, mm -hmm. and it speaks to the point that I was just making. How do we take these connections that someone like yourself, that's so well-read, so broadly and deeply thoughtful, and put that together in a way that speaks to targeted audiences? Because we have that challenge, and we have yes. that reality yep. with the Be Terrific. Um, you know, there are many things that we could do with Be Terrific in terms of taking a whole range of content and targeting it towards baby boomers or taking right. a whole range of content and targeting it towards Gen X's or yeah. taking it, targeting yep. it towards millennials. And one of the things that I've been thinking about, and I said this yeah. is something that, that I, I was thinking about particularly when I got up this morning and talking with Michael, who's the founder and CEO of Be Terrific, some of the challenges that we, that we face, all of us, you and yeah. I and the amazing collection of people that have been putting programming together and coming up with great ideas, is how to take so much information that we have today, whether it's about scientific medicine, yeah. whether it's about wellness and health, yeah. whether it's about communications, whether it's about how do we literature, how do, how we, do we take that and make it a, all how and, do we weed through yeah, it and, and have find it be those cohesive right, yeah. and have it be something that yeah. works within the realities of so the commercial let world. Let me come back to what I was it's saying. It's challenging. It is challenging, but I think we need to trust our own guts, but not a hundred percent. And that's what good doctors do, as I'm sure you have discovered over your years of doctoring. Uh, which is to say, you trust your gut, but you don't, leave, you don't trust it 100%. You trust your heart, but then you bring your head in with all of its information, all of its past, and you double check and triple check before you open your mouth. Which is a challenge, I think, for both you and me, by the way. We do the best we can. We we're, do. We're, we're, it's a, we're, 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 a work in, we're both works in prom, to yes. say the least. Yeah. yeah. We're, and that's kind of what you meant when you said, I think, we all bleed red. We're all works in progress, right? right? Right. None of us are perfect, but we're doing our best. And the, the other challenge is, go, extending from what you just said, which is a, sort of a self-assessment, I think, that we both make. Right constantly yeah. in, in how we engage in the world right. of thinking about what we're thinking about, thinking about thinking and communicating to another person. And you know, you've know, you certainly made those connections with patients and family and friends patients, and, and families, community, yeah. you know, time yeah. and time and time yeah, yeah. again. I would like to think the same is true for of myself. Course, of course but is. then while all that's going on, the external world is changing at such a pace today. Yeah, yeah. And how do we elevate what we do? All hands a, on deck. <laughs> all hands on deck. Yeah. And you know, not have 
hubris and not yeah. have you know a, a big head about it to think that the way we've done things in the past that have worked for us individually or professionally or you know in, personally in our lives yeah. is speaking to those external. So I'm going to I'm going to try to answer that. Sure. One th in one or two sentences, and then I'd like to pivot to your particular journey as a as a doc in training and and forward. Okay. Sure. I think again it comes down to you use the word not to have too big a head but you know that's a challenge for you and me in particular because we're both Harvard men you went to Harvard Medical School I was a Harvard undergrad and you know what they say about a Harvard man Scarlet H they say <coughs> right they say you can tell a Harvard man but you can't tell him much <laughs> Sadly <Which> true. Is, <laughs> I resemble that. <laughs> <laughs> and I do resemble that as well. Right. So uh, let's pivot now to your background, starting, let's say, just for the sake of our time constraints, we've uh, come down to about four minutes, I think. Borning under, born under a in northern, you know, light and in a manger. No, wait, that was that was <laughs> that was that that's other. A, that's a different that story. That was that other man, yeah, that, that, that other that, nice that, Jewish boy. Right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, we we both happen to be of the Hebraic persuasion. We are. But we embrace all spiritual and religious traditions, yes. gratefully and joyfully. And we even have moments of hard and big-headedness, thinking we embody all those traditions. At least speaking for myself. Big-headedness has come into this conversation a number well, of times. <laughs> I, I, we're both copying, as they used we're to say in, to in the 60s, to behaviors and mindsets. True that humility is recognizing when you're proud. Yeah, I, the, the, that, pro I just made that up, by the way. Tr you did? <laughs> I, I like did. that. <laughs> true I was going to say pride before the fall, <laughs> right? But true humility is recognizing when you're proud. I'm gonna, yeah. I'll remember that one. I will, too. Yeah. So where were we pivoting? We're pivoting to where you went from a, a humble Harvard medical student. Of course. <laughs> Sensei, <laughs> grasshopper. Yes. <laughs> to how you got before on. Before that, a humble Stanford student. And before that, a humble Amherst student. If I'm, if I, and a, and a, if I remember a, your past can correctly. Can one be humble from Amherst to Stanford to Harvard? Is it's that, a challenge. It's a set of challenges. Right. But it was a West Coast. Well, West? Yeah, that would be the West. It's an East-West. At least from thing. my perspective, the West Coast and an East Coast yes. phenomenon. So you're embodying right. East and West. And it was in the, a it was different the, way. It was the late '60s in high school and early '70s. The good those, old days. Those were interesting times. Those were. But that's you know a the, tale for another time. But you know time, what the though. Chinese say: "May you live in interesting times." That's right. Right. But so but coming back. Oh, okay. But coming back to your particular past. Right. Because we do, you know, we're coming back to your past. And I just made a movie about that past life. Which, by the way, is highly recommended and is available, available on, Am on Amazon Prime. That's Past true. Past life. And strongly okay. recommended. That's true. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, How nothing? are we doing it? No, we're doing great. We got At lots least of time. four minutes? No, yeah. more than that. We've got a fair amount of time now. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, we have about 25 minutes. Till when? 10? Till 5 to 10 or five so. 5 to 10 of 10. Because when Gabe is going to come, he's going to say, okay, guys. We've got to get five more. He's going to come in with a hook, and right. he's going to. But but so far we're we're, we're we're doing well. We're having fun. Yeah, so you, we're and that's back. a good start. It is a very good start, and that's one of the starts of how we. If we're having fun, that's one clue. Remember WPLJ, which is part of Cumulus Network, our wonderful partners. Peace, I, love, joy. We're PLJ. we're starting to feel the peace. Well, maybe if not the peace, at least the love and the joy. The peace, I'm still kind the of peace? looking. Like green, oh, the peace. Peace. Oh, that was a play yes, on that words. Was, that was a all too clever play so on words. So going back to I the pivot, say. and you wanted you wanted to delve into my past, and well, not too deeply. Okay, not okay. too deeply. I think I'd maybe meet resistance there. I'm not so. paying for this. I mean, I know you get paid for <laughs> for these <laughs> sessions. This yeah. is a freebie. This, this one's is, a freebie. But not the second one. Though. <laughs> second one, we'll talk. Okay. Um, so. You're a humble, somewhat humble Harvard. I have health insurance. Just in, yeah. That's okay. Oh, okay. I, I don't take insurance. No good shrink does. But that's a tale for another. That's Shrinks a don't take insurance. Not a, that's a discussion for another time. Coming back to you and to your moment. I do deflect, right? I'm pretty. Is that a your, defense mechanism? Am I avoiding? Yeah, am I, avoid, the way, am yeah, I avoiding? By the way, yes. Oh, okay. By the way, since you asked, yes. <laughs> so here we are. Back, you're a humble Harvard medical student. How do you? How did you get from there? You then got involved in some research. Tell us about the research. 
Isn't this when we wanted to bring some guests on? It's no. <laughs> it's no. We have all in two these, minutes. We have, in three <laughs> minutes. Is that, Dr. Am Milch? I trying to deflect and avoid? Yes, you are. Yes. Deflect, avoid, yes. and deny, and, and delay. Defect, Let's deflect, just keep it to deny, deflect. Deny, avoid. Just, <laughs> just keep it to Maybe one de word. Avoid and delay. Ma how, yeah. how about just doctor deflection? Yeah. So, um, I, I, wait, as you know, uh, both my parents were Holocaust survivors. Yes. Which is an interesting phenomenon in its own right. And, uh, yes, it is. So I was born in 1954. Uh, Let's fast forward to you're at Harvard Medical School. I could spend hours talking about I know, growing but we up don't, in the but Bronx. But we don't have hours. That would also be all, all in good time. Delaying. All so, in good time. Yeah, yeah. So I, I went to medical school, yeah. which was wonderful. An interesting time and, uh, in the mid-70s. Yeah. The world was changing yeah. quickly then. I was, in, I was Harvard undergrad then, so we were both around. Jimmy Carter was president. Okay, we don't have to get into the whole world politics of it. Mm. Let's just go right to, you got involved with some research. Yeah, I was doing, oh yeah. Tell us about the research a little bit and what. Really? It, yeah, that, that wasn't so it fun? Wasn't it yeah, fun? Yeah, research is fun. Okay. It, if you're. If you want to skip the research. No, no, it was interesting research. In the like, research what? like what? Uh, signal analysis, physiological signal acquisition and analogy, analysis using transducers and, and telemetry devices. Everyone get that? Yeah, exactly. Like okay. Boring is so, watching no, paint no, dry. No, no, not really. Unless you're doing it. Yeah, but then you go from there to at least right. So some, to of, some of the research that I was doing became of interest to a company in California again, which was working on on metabolic disease, particularly diabetes. They were making pumps to deliver insulin, and they were looking for a way to measure glucose levels in the blood uh, non-invasively. And as I said, we were acquiring physiological signals non-invasively for purposes for the you know, space program and things like that, which was still going strong back then. I had these crazy ideas that maybe I would... I think you're still a little in outer space, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, head in the clouds, feet in the ground. It's there a we go. good combination. Anyway, so I was introduced to the guy that started that company, and they said, oh yeah, we want to be able to measure glucose while we're delivering the insulin, because then you have a positive feedback and you so can fast, have an artificial so pancreas. So fast forward to... And that company became a, a successful company and was sold to a big company, which got sold to a bigger company, which became a public company, is one of the largest medical technology companies in and the world And that is today. your company? No, no, that no, it was not my company. I had a little, little, little tiny role. I was, I was well, still... Is that the company based in Israel or is that... No, 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 that company's based in Minneapolis. It's called Medtronic. Metro. Oh, I've heard of Metronic. Right. And they own the company that I was uh, fortunate enough to work with called Minimed, which is the number one insulin pump company in the world and is, has external pumps and internal pumps and glucose monitoring systems. Based in Israel? No. No. Still not based. No. I'm trying to get us then, across the seas fast, to Israel. To fast forward, because uh, that was successful financially, I started investing and starting other medical companies. And today I have a medical company in Israel which I'm the founder of and the vice chairman, and it's a medical technology company that works. called what? It's called Allium, which is Allium. the name of a flower. We were a private company called Israel Biomedical Innovations, IBI, and we merged with a public company called Allium. We became the, it, it, the, the surviving management team, but okay. what we took over the name It doesn't of, sound like this really interests you, though. Oh, no, no, it's very interesting, it's all your but, I mean, it's all just part of your past. It's just it's all business. No, no, it's not part of my, I mean, no, yeah, Allium, it's so Allium is working on structural heart disease. It's working in metabolic disease for diabetes and obesity. It's wor working in women's health and it's working in men's health. So okay. those are the four areas. Okay. So what fascinates me as a pauper yeah. talking to this prince, I'm a pauper doc, you're a prince doc. Right. In other remember, words, the pauper replaces the prince in Mark Twain's wonderful novel. Which, yes. And that's also a tale so for I'm another time. So I'm ready to time. be replaced, and you're, you're welcome to, we can switch seats and... But you see, before you sign on for that, know that Man, I have about $10 to my name, and you're a multi-multi-billionaire multi in my fantasy but world. But paupers have, ha have a richer inner life and, and, and joyful in every moment, whereas the rich often are burdened or guilty or don't know what to do with themselves. Well, you know, that, that other nice Jewish boy, St. Paul, did say the love mm -hmm. of money is the, is the root of all evil. I mean, it, I'm not sure it's the root of all evil. What was it? Humility is the ability to know when you're proud. Have yeah. You? Okay. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. So where were we? We were 
we were doing du so, so we were doing dueling. Uh, so we, so we, we fast forwarded from Minimed to Allium in Israel and a to number the flower back right. to the and garden. And then somehow the I navigated to being chairman of a broadcasting company, which brings us to sitting on these chairs together and talking about how we take all of this esoteric conversation and communicate it to an audience out there that we hope to build and that we and the will and the find. short answer from an intuitive level. Mm. Sorry to interrupt, but. Sometimes it's necessary. No, not, not a problem. Because yeah. um, you do it lovingly and with grace. And I, with tr I try to well, I, you, in you my better it. moments. You do. You, Thank you. You are very loving and en caring, Tony. Enough and, about and me. And everyone that surrounds you, I must say, and our friends that are here watching the show on, are loving come and... Come on down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, well, sure. Here. Gordon Edelstein. Why, why don't we bring Gordon over here? Because we can broaden my the conversation. Old, one of my oldest friends And by friends the way, in life. future editions of this, we can dive as broadly or deeply into my yeah. particulars and specifics. No, this is the one time like. you're ever going to be on the show, Dave. <laughs> 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 that may well be the case if, if we figure out what the show is. My old old friend right. Gordon Edelstein, a healer in his own right, as we all are, by the way. What The premise of this show, it seems to me, or one of them, is that we may not all be doctors or potential doctors, but we're all healers or potential healers. And Gordon, in his own right, has been a healer in the form of a theater director, and by the way, and also Art's as healer, a friend. A creative healer. And also as a friend, and in many other roles. Absolutely. So here's Gordon Edelstein, who may want to chime in and say something. Um, well, um, let me talk about, if you want to talk about healing, Yeah. Um, as a, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but as a but patient, as a, I have been a as patient, a patient. Yeah. As a yeah. patient and then yeah, yeah. pivot to what I have spent 40 years doing for a living. Yeah. You know, as a patient, when you are in the care of a doctor who is motivated to heal you, Mm -hmm. You know it. And everybody who's watching, all 12 people who are watching, <laughs> know the difference between a doctor who is trying to heal them versus a doctor who's trying to execute a job. Yep. I think that's a very important point, actually, that we're going to be coming back to again and again. Again, in the interest of time, how much more time do we actually have? We have about five minutes. Uh, no, four we, minutes. We, we have about seven minutes, and ten I wanna, minutes. So yeah. I will say something else yeah. about what... You were large. Yeah. Well, you know, so as a theater director and producer, what I have witnessed for many years, because uh, what I love doing, I love making plays, but what I really love doing is watching the plays in front of an audience. There is extraordinarily um, satisfying experience. And you, because you can feel an audience, if you've done a good job putting on a show, you can feel the audience surrender and empathize with the characters on the stage. And when a show is, when the, when the play is completed, if you've done your job well, whether it's a crazy comedy or a serious drama, for two hours or so, the audience has been given the gift of walking in somebody else's shoes for two hours. Nice. And by doing so, may release or expiate yeah. some of whatever feelings they might have about others. You know, some judgments they might have of this kind of person yeah. or that kind yeah, of yeah. person. And people, when a play works, people, I, I, I believe it, I, 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 maybe I'm wrong, but I do believe it, People walk out changed, transformed. Sweet. You can feel it in the room the, when you're watching a show. It, it happens yeah. in the movies, but movies are a different yeah, phenomenon because yeah. it's not yeah, live. Yeah. You can feel the molecules mm. in the space because everyone's mm. in the room together. So what you, feel the, the, space the, things, the things you're saying, the things you're saying, Gordon, and this is going back to the, the, the P word, the pivot word, are profound. Yes, Tony. What, I, I just wanted to get John Golden on the on the set w before we stop. If, sure. Yeah, yeah, but go I, ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Please. I I don't know. Does he have? Well, we'll see if yeah, he has yeah. a mic. So one of the things that we're going to talk about when the show finishes, and we'll talk a little bit now, is 
John, do you have, do you have a mic on? Here, or? here, you can, you can borrow no, no, my no, mic. No, 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 it's, yeah. a, it's a, yeah. Yeah, you, hey, John, come, come, sit down, please, no problem. Like I said, for, you, the, for the four people that we have watching us I'm right now. Yeah. Here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Kenny, you can come in too. All right. Um, you know, I'm curious what you, where you were going, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. where, where I'm going with this is, like I said, and, and, and you heard, hey, Kenny, come on in. Come on in. Uh, yes. Uh, where, uh, I want my Kenny Fine here. What is that? I want my MTV. I want my Maypo. I want oh, my there. Kenny <laughs> Fine. <laughs> that's just, that, that's the... Come in. Come in. There we go. All right. He's hiding behind the pillow. Um, yeah, no, we have, a, we have a challenge that uh, the four of us with Kenny and Laura and, and Paul and, and others are, are going to talk about today and, and the, uh, the six the subsequent days, which is nobody's watching. Nobody's watching our shows. Except when we do particular shows where all of a sudden we get tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. I can tell you one uh, just let, You don't have an answer. I do? N no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have an answer. There's no yes, e I there do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I'm, yes, I'm happy oh, to hear what you think the answer I'll, is. We'll take it off the air. No, I, you, you okay. can say not uh, on the air I or off the air. it's important to be, not to be penny wise, pound foolish, you need to sprinkle this with some advertising money now. Or some There's not enough money in the world to do it to compete with the, the big players out there. So impossible. It's, impossible. it's impossible. So I'm curious where it's you were going. Where yeah, are you going? Yeah. Where are we going? Well, I, uh, exactly what I'm saying. With a question. We're, no, it's not a question. I was commenting on the important, profound things that you started to say, and nobody's hearing it. And it doesn't matter what archive we put it in, doesn't, I mean, okay, if we spent millions of dollars per episode, you know, buying attention on Facebook or something like that, sure, but the minute you stop spending the money, it, it falls. Because there's so much content being created, right. and there's so much distraction, and because the audience, the target audiences, are stratifying so much more and people are becoming more and more forced within the broadcasting media world, the, the content creators, to target more and more narrowly. Right. And we made an effort, and it's still in the early stages, all of this is in the early stages, to say, well, let's, let, let's say that we tie together a, 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 a Staging Sisters and a Devante Magic and a How Doctors Think and a yeah, Takedown and a, and, and a Flipping by How We Think how we think. It's because that's what it's all about. It's all about how we're all thinking, what's going on in our, in our heads, what's going on in John Golden's head when he's thinking about a show on addiction or a show about war games, what's going on in Tony's head when he's thinking about a show of how doctors think or philosophy or Stephen Rudin or Gordon and Paul doing, you know, doing a, uh, a rising star. And, and of course, and this is what I was saying to you, Tony, it isn't just what we happen to think and great conversations yeah. we yeah. have here in the studio or outside the, outside the studio. It's what's going on outside this room or outside these walls here in Secaucus and what's happening in the larger framework. And we're talking to lots and lots of pe people who, number one, they love when we ask them to look at it, they love the programming we're doing. They're saying, you guys are doing great programming. Technically proficient programming, interesting people. You're doing great programming in the studio. When you get out of the studio and you're doing this IRL stuff, this in real life, where we're essentially producing programs that look yeah. like they've been taped, edit, edited, and broadcast because of the technical proficiency of the team and Michael and everything that's going on. And we're going to do more of that. And what they've said for quite a while and louder and louder recently in mm -hmm. meetings at Cumulus and discussions with people on the West Coast is you better be aware at how quickly the whole landscape of the broadcasting industry is changing. Yeah. And, and I happened to wake up this morning and there was, uh, on Bloomberg, there was something about Twitch. That Twitch has just announced 20 partnerships for live streaming content. Twitch, this little, you know, uh, wh whatever, lives, you know, it's, you know, 140 characters, and I guess expanded to 280 characters, realizes that that little tiny, you know, you know, mind, you know, mind, mind bite um, format is has to be expanded into video, and now they're they're doing deals with Disney and they're doing deals with with, with NBC, Which must be NBC a little, et cetera. A little terrifying for. Or be terrific. Well, 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 it's not a question of being terrifying. It's just a reality. It's, it's it's the landscape. Look, we started off saying let's be a great programming house, like do stuff like Broadway Bartender. You know, which we go out, we produce award a show, winning. which just won an award. So you can be award winning. You can have people saying, "Geez, you know, when we watch the episode with Paul and and Gordon, we see these talents. They're amazing. How, how do how do you find these people? How did you get someone like Paul? But again, how does one get 
an audience to watch that when they're being sucked into what's going on moment to moment, day to day. I, I, Wait, well, go go John, yes. John, yeah. I, I, think, yeah hold him, hold I, th I think that the only thing that you can count on is... John Golden, by the way. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Is connection. And what I mean by that is out there, wherever there is, there's a mass of people that are thinking, feeling, doing, being all the time. Anything we talk about may or may not be interesting, but I think it's about connecting with people who are out there right now looking at us for us to realize that there's a, a pattern and a flow within them. And if we connect with that, then we access humor, we access intelligence, nice we ac part. access their interests. Yeah. And if we don't, then it's just words that are hitting the wall. Well, well sure. We want to access their intelligence. We want to access where they live and, and how they're thinking. But remember, the four of us sitting here have a particular age group that we mm -hmm. almost all within a few months of one another, a particular educational yeah, background, right. True. ways in which we consume our content. I mean, I as yeah. much as I am so pleased to have Twitch as a partner, do any of us on a regular basis go to a Twitch or to a Tubi or to an Edge to get our entertainment or contact? If we're not gamers or if we're not in a kind of millennial framework and interested in some of the things that fortunately and, and, and thankfully the Twitch audience and others participate in, th then we're not accessing the platforms that are saying to us, we want more live stuff from Be Terrific, but we want this kind of live stuff. And I can tell you that right now, that this kind of live stuff that they're saying they want more of is not the kind of live stuff that the four of us are doing. It's not I'm Staging sure Sisters. I'm it's right, not right, how right, doctors right, right. think. It's not even it's Rising Star. That doesn't mean that the concept of those shows can't be crafted okay. and with the right hosting, etc., speak to that audience. But it also begs the question, is that what Be Terrific should be doing? Shouldn't we be trying to speak to that audience? Because okay. we know that we can reach that audience when we do things like an auto show, or when we go to a Big Apple, a Big Apple Comic Con, or when we have someone like a Mike Carbo, we haven't met, who uh, is, uh, is, is of our you know, age mm -hmm. group, but he's into comics and collectibles and cards and all of that. He has a certain kind of personality that grafts right towards that millennial Twitch and other platforms, or cool. some of the gaming partners that have reached out to us and want to do things with us. So one of the things that I'm beginning to think about in my mind, as I said, this really, when I read this thing I from... Think for Gabe's sake, we need to wrap up. It's, yeah, well, we'll yeah. you know, we, guys, Dave? whenever you need us to wrap up, no problem. You know, I'm sure the, 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 the two people that are watching or the 12 people or the Facebookers that might be watching, and we thank you for watching. Thank you for we thank you attention. for participating in both in the debut show of How Doctors Think and the kind of mind meld on some of the larger issues or larger opportunities, challenges that, you know, Be Terrific is involved with and these wonderful collaborators who Maybe have, we you know, call it mind meld. Mind meld, yeah. They, they, we you know, David, a lot I, of things. I think you know this, but yeah. allow me to state the obvious. Yeah. Everybody's asking the same question you're asking. Exactly. That is, Good point. those that are working on HBO or Showtime, those that are working in Netflix, those that are creating new networks like Be Terrific, right. and those that produce in direct theater. Exactly. We are all struggling with what is it that's going to reach people because there is so much noise and so much competition and to that point, for people's look, time. Our friend, our friend look, not money. And we're, we are wrapping up here. Again, thank you so much. Those of you who are kind enough to tune in this morning and, uh, and watch on Be Terrific, anybody that's giving their time and, and attention to Be Terrific, we are so grateful and thankful. Many things are happening at Be Terrific, many things to come. Your feedback and input is so important to us, it's so important to John Golden, Gordon Edelstein, and to Tony Stern, and, and to the rest of those that are here. And um, we'll be uh, back with you soon. So thanks so much, and all the best. Have a wonderful day.